welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. I have a finish. I am so excited about this one. It turned out absolutely amazing. It is so gorgeous and it was so much fun to diamond paint that I was a little sad when I finished. It turned out better than I could have ever imagined. Now I did finish this on February the 29th, just barely in time to count this as a February finish. And if you have not seen my month in review for February, I will put that at the top, probably around here somewhere, and you will be able um, to look at that and see um, all of my finishes. This is my fifth one of the year, and I am really excited about that. I was actually able to complete three in February. Don't think I will be that fortunate in March, but I'm okay with that. So I just want to go over the finish on this and to show you how gorgeous this turned out. But look at that sparkle. I did not add any additional A beads or any special drills to this other than the four that came with it. Was it four or five? One, two, three, five. There were five in here. There was one that had very little, but um, it worked out absolutely perfect. But I mean, look at that shimmer. And um, this is from Bella Art Day Nicole. Didn't even bother to tell you where it was from. Bella Art Day Nicole, and this is Carousel Pony. And I just love this piece. And it brought back a lot of my childhood memories of me riding a carousel when I was younger with my grandmother. And then also my kids love the carousel and still do. When we go to a mall that's in Georgia, my kids, the first thing they wanna do is go and ride the carousel because there is a carousel inside in their atrium. And we just um, enjoy doing that. So this is what it looks like. I do have it sideways so you can see it a little better. It had some color blocking, it had some confetti. It wasn't too much of either, but look at this. I mean, look at the reins on this pony. And I just love all of the pink. I mean, it had a lot of pink. So if you don't like pink, you may have a hard time with this. And I probably could have added some more ABs, but I decided not to. I just went with the process. But um, the light's picking up the sparkle a little bit. But even if I turn my light off, it's a little bit darker, but you can you can't you can see still how shimmery that the all of the ABs, all of the drills are. This one worked up so beautifully. I thought about purchasing another one and doing this one and gifting it to my cousin, but I don't know, because I have so many other ones that I want to do. Um, and then I did find some washi that actually matches the canvas, which is kind of unusual for me. I have tons and tons of washi from my scrapbook days, and it's just really weird because as, many as, as much washi as I have, I have a hard time finding any that will go with my canvases, but this one went absolutely beautifully. I do plan on framing this. I'm going to look for some frames this weekend. I'd like to frame it myself. If I can, I would like to, um, but I love all of the pink at the top here and then the flower that she has in her hair over here and there's more flowers here. But the pole that the pony is on for the carousel, that one turned out couldn't have been any better. It is just so pretty. I had plenty of drills left, did not have any problems whatsoever. This is a 50 by 62 centimeter, so it's also a smaller size than what I normally work on, and it was really nice to have a smaller size for me. This took me about three weeks. I could have done it sooner, but I have others I was working on. So I was working on this one for a little bit. I would switch and work on something else, but I always wanted to keep going back to this one and not doing anything else. So towards the end, I just started working on this and said, forget all the others. I wanna get this done. I wanna see how pretty that it is. And this one was one that I did a sneak, beat, sneak peek unboxing for. And as soon as I unboxed it, I knew this is the one that I need to work on. And I had to wait a couple of weeks, but then as soon as I got started with it, it was just amazing. I love a lot of this down here was confetti, but it was so worth it. I was able to use a tin placer. I don't really have any gaps in here. 
It was a square. The squares fit beautifully. So I'm going to move this over to the side. I am going to get my box of spare squares and I'm going to put the rest of these up so I can use my containers for another project. I need to kit up a round soon because I'm working on three squares and I really need a round in my life. So I'm going to move everything over and I'll be right back. This is a container that I use, Craftmates. I really do like this container. There's not all of the paintings that I have would work with this, but a lot of them do. Um, these do, I think there's 50 in here, I believe, and they are together. You just push this little button here and you can open each one. I'm doing it with my left hand so I can't do it. You just open it. And I have really enjoyed these. When I first got them, I wasn't sure if I was going to like these um, because once you put the drills in there and then you put your, you just, you go ahead and you um, put all of your stickers on there, then it really becomes problematic to get off. But I have really liked this. Now these are in, I think I have, the, these are in DMC order, so that is definitely good. And because there wasn't very many drills in here or very many colors, I thought, you know, it's fine to have it in DMC. I don't normally diamond paint in DMC order. I need something to keep my place here. Let's see. I hate to use scissors, but I guess I'll be okay. I don't stab myself. Okay. I don't have a lot of some of these colors, but I do have some left. So I am going to keep most of these. I do have some strays in here, but I'm not worried about it. When I need them, I'll just pick those out. I do tend to have more stray drills that don't belong with a color on this container than I do the others. I'm not sure why. And something else that I did not do, and I know better than to do this, is I did not put washi on here before I started kitting this up. And so now I'm gonna have to use Goo Gone or alcohol. And I'm probably gonna have to scrape these off. I was just so excited to kit this up. It did have some static. It wasn't horribly bad, but it did have some. And I just decided I'm just gonna go ahead and kit up. Well, I should have taken the time to go ahead and put my washi on there. And if you're not sure why, if you put washi, on a container and then you put your stickers on top of the washi. It is so much easier because the washi doesn't stick as hard and it's much easier to come off. Whereas like me being a ding dong, I decided it's okay. I can, I don't think it's going to be permanent and these are sticking very well. I really, I shouldn't be using my nails doing this, but I guess since my nails are in bad shape right now, it probably doesn't matter. All right, let's get to 640. And I am so, that's, that's really bad. That's fine. It's two different colors in here. Now I may make it three. I usually at least try to have them to where they are close in shade. And this was not, but I'm not using these for anything else except if I run out of drills on a kit or if I want to change a color of something, which I never do. So I don't know why I even bother to say that because I don't change colors. I go by basically whatever's rendered unless I want to put special drills on there. And then I might change the color of a special drill if I don't have something that is exactly the color, but close to it. 712. When I do another, 
cross-stitch conversion, then I am just going to save up and I'm going to purchase the drills. I'm not gonna save these. I should have gotten my other container. I'll just put these in a, put these in a tray for now, the ones I'm not gonna save. There's just too many other colors in there. I only have about five of the 712 left. There's some pinks in there, so I'm not gonna save those. I used to be super, super careful, and now it's just, I mean, I still am, but on some of these, I do have some, some lone rogue drills that should not be with that color. All right, 777, that's an empty, that's good. Now I have a few new of this color, so that's nice to know. Okay, and I'm really looking forward to kitting up a round, and I'm going to be doing that and having a video come out next week. I think on Saturday, actually, I have a kitting up that I want to do, so I've got to get these, and I think I'm going to use this one. I wasn't going to, and now I thought, well, since I am going to have this one emptied, I might use this one for my next round painting because there's not that many colors in it either. I think it's less than 50. This one may be 52. I guess I need to look at that and see. 778, 712. So I don't know, um, but I will decide. And I'm going to do that on Saturday, so you'll have something to listen to on Saturday. Probably will take me about an hour or so to kit up. It always takes me longer to kit up when I'm doing it on camera, which is fine. Um, but I am not scheduling a massive cross-stitch conversion for the week, for this week. I think I have one for the following Saturday. I think I'm gonna to try to do them around the 15th or so of every month. So that way I know what I'm doing. That might work out well. Just a little bit later in the afternoon than what I would really like to film. I want this to go out today and I don't like doing that. I do not like having to go through and edit and do everything at this in one day. And I'm afraid it's going to take longer to load. You never know. I really want it to go out today. I need to start doing better. And if I want my videos to go out on, on the mornings, I need to start doing them a day or two early. And that's the plan. It just has not happened yet. We are at midterms right now at work and it becomes very busy at midterm. Plus, it becomes busy at the end of every fall and spring term because there's always certain things that have to be done at the end of a term. Some are not so much, but the fall and the spring, there's always a lot going on. I have students that are graduating, so I, and I'm their mentor, so I have a lot going on with them on that. We also have our competition that's getting started. And I've got a meeting next week that's three hours away. And we have to be there by 9.30. So we're going to leave our campus at 6. We're going to meet at 6.50 and we're going to leave about 7. And there's three of us driving. We're taking our state car. So I don't have to take mine. I don't have to drive. And that's even better. Okay, this one is full. That's not even close to the same color either. Oh yeah, I guess it is. This one's full. I only have four or five of these. So I'm not gonna keep those either. My card group 
ladies needs to come over. We need to have a all day card making at my house. We do that about twice a year or so. We're wanting to do it more. And I am getting on my, my spare trash drills I don't keep. They love them. They use them for their cards and different things. And so I am getting a full container. I guess I can put them in a just a plastic bag and then they can go through it and see. They don't have very special drills this time. They really like the ones I get from discount companies I don't usually keep. But they may be a little disappointed because I haven't done any of those in a long time. I feel guilty a little bit whenever I have those because I always say how important that it is for licensed artwork and then the discount companies do not have licensed artwork. But I am very careful with what I order. If I see that it was someone else's work, then I find I check very carefully before I order. And then I check again whenever it comes in to make sure that it's not someone else's. But I'm just afraid that it's going to bite me in the butt one of these days. I'm going to miss one, and I would feel absolutely horrible if I do. So I'm kind of on the fence if I want to do any more of those. And I've had several companies that keep messaging me and asking me, you know, you haven't picked out anything yet. No, I haven't. And I did it at first because I thought, well, there's, you know, not everybody can afford premier, premium companies and the prices. And then, but there are some on Amazon and even the ones on Amazon, you know, they're $30 plus sometimes. And a lot, no, not everybody can afford that. I am just fortunate that I can. I'm also very fortunate now that I have a stash that I can shop from. If you know I don't have the funds or I don't want to spend anything or time to save for something else, then I have plenty that I can get out of my stash. But not everybody's like that. So that's why I was doing some of the discount ones, just to show others what's out there. And most of them are good. not all of them, but some of them are really good quality. The ones that I tell you is good quality, you know, I know they are. I wouldn't say they're good quality when they're not, but it just makes me a little nervous. All right, these are ABs. These go in my AB file. I have changed the way that I'm doing my ABs and I am right in the middle of changing it up. So once I get to a point after I do my squares, then I am going to to work on my rounds with you guys. And I will do a video, it's probably gonna be a long one, on how I am now storing my ABs. Not 100% sure if I like it or not, but I like that I can see them. That is one plus, and they're not in a box. So I think that will help me to use them more but it depends, once they, once they start getting really full, it's really going to depend on if I'm gonna like it or not, I don't know. But time will tell. I cannot believe I did not put washi on here. 37, 27. And I'll just use alcohol or I can use Goo Gone. I can't stand that stuff. It's oily and I just hate it. But I've heard that alcohol does a trick too. So I'm going to try alcohol and see. I don't have 
Where's my 3727 bag? Hmm. That is strange. I thought I had a bag for all. Oh, there it is. Right in front of me. I'm sure you guys are screaming. It's right in front of your eyeballs. All right, 3727. You guys, it has been a week. I will tell you on my whip and chat that will come out on Tuesday. It has been a week. 3743. And the next three weeks are going to be absolutely crazy. So I am going to try to get some videos done a little early if I can because I want to make sure that they do go out. I am in the middle of tearing up my craft room again and I'm going to be selling a lot of things. Not necessarily diamond paintings but it is time for me to go through all of my scrapbook things, all of my card stuff, and it is time for me to sell a lot. So let me know. I know that this isn't a card. It's not a card channel. I don't want it to be a card channel. I'm not changing it to a card channel, but if you guys would like to see what I am going to be selling, it's going to be a lot of stamps um, where you, you stamp it and then with different inks and then you can either color it or whatever you want to do. So it's not like postage stamps. It's stamp stamps for crafting. And if you guys would like me to show you or have a video showing what I'm going to be selling and telling you how much and everything before I put it out there to sell. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it on eBay or where there's another card group that a lot of people have been selling a lot of their card making supplies and scrapbooking supplies on and I might do that. I don't know. I heard that I'm trying to sell on eBay that now they're charging you, they're taking tax out. And I really don't want to have to deal with if I um, have to report it and all that stuff. I won't make enough. It'll be well under 600 to have to report, but I don't know, but I want to give everybody first dibs, so if I have enough interest, then I will do it. If I don't have enough interest, the ones that are interested, I can just send you photos of what I have, and that way you can decide if you would like it or not. I may have some scrapbook paper. I'm not sure yet. I am doing one thing at a time because I tend to get ahead of myself. And when I do that, then I make a huge blunder out of everything. And then I just make a mess, I get overwhelmed, and then I just say, forget it. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not worried about the, taking those off, the rest of the stickers off later. But let me know if you guys are interested. I don't even know how much I'm going to sell them for um, yet, to be honest. Most of the stamps that I am going to be selling are going to be either stamping up. I think I have some close to my heart stamps that I am going to be selling. I may have some um, Delusion stamps. It's um, Diane Reveley, um from Ranger. I might have some Tim Holtz. I'm not sure yet. Oh, that one's cool. 939. 939. I don't have. I'm not going to save those. There's only like four. 930. I have a full bag. 3024. Almost done here. 3024. But I 
I just think it's time for me to, to start purging in my craft room. I don't use a lot of these stamps. I do not need five stamps of almost the same thing with just different sayings. I mean, how many butterflies can one person really have? I've just been collecting for so many years and I said that I wasn't going to get rid of any of my stuff, but it's just one of those things. We eventually want to downsize and with all that I have, I cannot downsize. I don't wanna wait until my husband pulls the trigger and says, okay, we're gonna start looking for another house and here I am trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. 3687. This is, I'm sorry if that was my last one. I still have a bunch of them to go. All right, yes, I will just take all of those stickers off. There's no point in me struggling with stickers. I don't see the need in that. I don't like how some of these stickers are poked up. I'll have to go in and fix those. I'm really weird about stuff like that. I'm 3861. Now these are not in order, I don't know why. 3861. Would have to be way over here. Um, 38, oh that's full. Okay, I don't need 3861, 38, 34, 35, 36, 59, 62, nothing. 3864 is full, so all of these, funny when I'm looking through some of these bags when I'm doing my kitting downs that I have a lot of the same colors I mean not the exact same color but in the color family I just think it's really funny so it just shows that I'm not branching out I'm not trying not getting out of my comfort zone not trying to do other diamond paintings and I should probably do that all right, 152, back over here now. I'm not sure what exactly happened. 152, oh good, that one's empty. So I can start it back on here. I don't have a lot of greens. And just thinking back at the canvases that I've completed, I haven't completed very many with green in it, obviously, or I would have some to put in my my container here, 316. That one's going to be the start of a new bag. I don't know why I missed all those others over there. All right, 316. That's a pretty pink. I love pink, so I guess that is why I enjoy doing this one so much. And let's see, 317 is full. I have two bags of 317, 318. That is a different color. I don't have enough of those to start another bag. 336, I think. That's a different color. 372, that is a mustard light. I don't think I have, have any of this. No, I don't, a little bit. That's close enough in color. The other ones are not, and there's not enough to start another bag, really. Okay, 372. The next one is 407. different color than that one. 414. And I know not everybody keeps their drills. Well, that's completely full. So you don't have to keep your drills. And just like on these, I'm not keeping all of these. I don't have, there's not a need for me to, because I'm not going to be using any of these in any, in any projects 
unless, like I said, I run out. So I'm not real concerned about these. Now, any of the Ever Moment drills, I am keeping, trying to keep those because those are the ones I'm going to use if I do a small, a small massive cross stitch. I'll consider using some of those and then buying some more. But I can tell the difference in Ever Moments drills and then other drills. And I'm not going to keep bags, bags and bags from di every different company that I diamond paint with. I am not gonna keep all of those. I just can't be bothered with all of that. So because of that, this box is just spares. It is not something that really concerns me that much. It did when I first started diamond painting. I thought, I've got to keep every single one that I don't use. But no, I don't. And I'm not going to. And then these all get used eventually anyway with my card group. And I have some teacher friends. And they're doing designs on the um, converted pro or the cross stitch, the um, canvases that you've used to cross stitch on um, for diamond paintings. And so they just use all of my old drills instead of her buying some because teachers only receive X amount. Oh, like that. Um, they only receive X amount, especially the ones that are art teachers and they have to really watch their, their funds. And so they just come and get mine. So between my card group, my teacher friends, I have three that are teacher friends. Um, two are actually the art teachers for high schools, which is really cool. I'm, I'm just glad they're able to use my discards and they love them. And of course, you know, they have to pick through some because some do have the holes and they have the tabs on them and things. But for the most part, they're pretty good. All right, so now this is empty. I am definitely going to have to clean these off because they have a film to all of them, which I will do that off camera. There's not any need to do that and you watch me. That will be very boring, I think. But this one is empty. It is ready to go for my next kitting up, and I'll just have to think about it when I get the drills out, if I'm going to use this one or if I'm gonna use a different one, but I am running low on my containers because I have so much kitted up that I really need to start working on those, which I'm trying to do, and I am almost finished with another one, so hopefully I will have another kitting down um, soon, so I'll have an Elizabeth Ward tray that I'll be able to use. Thanks so much and for joining me today and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.